So this is how to find every single secret unit in Totally Accurate Battle Simulator here in 2023, including the legacy units and to start on Tribal 1, if you come to this stump, you're actually gonna find a lovely little cheerleader. Like, just, just watch, boom, like that cheerleader. Let's move over to the Tribal Sandbox. And if you turn completely around, you're gonna find an altar with a bunch of skulls and bones on it. And there's an odd looking skull sitting right here by the campfire and it turns into uh, a raptor but we're not done here there's actually one more to find here in the tribal massive map do you guys know the cave the cave way over here past all these trees coming to this rock outcropping right here in this cave if we bring the camera around you're gonna see a hole with a lovely campfire. And look, there's a pair of skulls, not just a raptor skull, but a raptor skull and a human skull, because the first one was the raptor, and this one is the raptor rider. Now, over on Farmer 1, you're gonna find a dynasty unit, which doesn't make a lot of sense if you think about it, but ultimately, there is this lovely dragon head hiding here beneath the bushes. What is a dragon doing in a farmer's field? I have no idea, but it turns into the wheel barrow dragon now we move over to medieval one and there's not one not two but three secret units on this map starting with this head chilling in the barrel it's a clown in a treasure chest this one is easily the jester and once you found this lovely guy we swing across the land bridge and look into the tree line what's that sitting there on a stump it is an executioner's axe could this be the executioner yes it definitely is the executioner here on medieval one and there's one other unit swinging over here to the left there's an odd looking tree that doesn't seem to match all the other trees in the vicinity and this guy one of my favorites the tree giant aka mr broccoli man medieval 2 is also home to multiple units starting with the poor unit skewered on a wooden spike this is the home of vlad the impaler the secret unit very fun, very powerful, massive wooden stick. But that is not all. We're gonna swing over here, head towards this tower. And this tower has a window. Ignore the chicken. The chicken seems to be something, but he's not. Look straight down. You see a pair of maces, and this guy is the mace spinner. Put a cheerleader on him and see what happens. But we're not done. There is one more location out the window, way up into the sky at the very top of this map you see a spear coming out of a log, a tree. How did the spear get here? And it makes no sense, especially when you see the unit, the cavalry. How does a horse get up here? Nobody knows. On Ancient One, you have one of the OG units located here in the tower with a lovely bow. One of the original most powerful units in totally accurate battle simulator this bow will give you artemis moving over to ancient two there's another unit hidden here amongst the ruins a sword right there in the altar not quite sword in the stone but a sword lying on the altar as if being presented to this unknown god this sword belongs to the teacher another three for one deal here on ancient sandbox if you come down to this ruined section on the one side of the map there's a fan which is wielded by the fan bearers Bear, guys that air see fan bearers they they blow pretty hard now we leave this section and we come to this lovely blue and white building over here there's a very hard to find one and make sure you pay attention you see this wall look down between this building and this wall and there is a crossbow hiding in there maybe somebody got in trouble and shoved it out of there to hide it it is the choco new but that's not all up here on top of this building you're gonna find a bow and arrow belonging to a small creature with wings that wants to bring love to the world it is cupid the viking map has a pair of secret units starting with easily a top five favorite unit this guy is a lovely fellow a happy fellow his name is hugo if you want to know and he is hugo 
the Ice Giant, the Meat Shield of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, but that is not all. That is only one of our fearsome duo located here on the Viking map. If you come to this frozen waterfall and take a look right there at this helmet, you have a Dragonborn. Not quite. It is the Shouter. Now on the Viking sandbox on this massive map, if you come over here to this frozen prison, just kind of chillin' and take a look inside. Yes, I use chillin' in an ice world. There's a helmet and an axe hiding right there, belonging to Euler, the, the Viking god of ice. Now the Dynasty map has a record five different secret units. Let's hold our breaths, head underwater, and come to the foot sticking out of the sand. Really weird sight to see. It is the Taekwondo unit. And as we leave the water, we will head up here towards this, this structure. But the problem is the next one is hidden here in the crack. Come to this ledge here, go deep into the crack, and take a look at that weapon hiding there. Why was it hidden there? I do not know, but that is the Lady Red Jade. Now we move to the top of the building. And what's this? Shurikens. Three different shurikens belonging most likely to the Sensei Master. There he is, the Sensei, but we're not done there. Come on down the unit, come to the edge of the map and take a look at this sword sticking out of this tree. What is this sword doing here? Who does it belong to? We have the Shogun. And finally, at the bottom of the map, another sword. Much bigger. How did it get here? Nobody knows. Nobody knows the, the orientation, the origination of this weapon, but it is the Samurai Giant. While that last map had five secret units, this map, the Renaissance, only has one. And if you don't know where to look, you're never going to find it because it's not on the map at all. It's up in the sky. We go like this, look up into the sky and look, there's a speck, a little tiny speck. And I'm sprinting towards it as fast as I humanly can. There's a ballooner just kind of chilling, seemingly alive somehow. How long he's been up here, I don't know, but now you have access to the ballooner. That one balloon was nice, but we are stepping it up with four secret units here on the pirate map. First off, you have a unit hiding on this table of stuff. It's not the map, it's not the compass, like, you know, Captain Jack Sparrow. No, it is this stick with a bomb on the end. Bomb on a stick. And then we go out into the water. Once again, hold your breath as we go deep into the water to an underwater cave with a head inside of a clamshell. Be careful with this unit. If you summon too many of them, your computer's going to freeze. It is the clams unit. Now we leave the water and we go to a super secret location. The secret location of none other than, uh, if I can find the entrance to the cave, is it down lower? It's Blackbeard's cave. There it is. Blackbeard's cave. And there is Captain Blackbeard. And there are his anchor hands. They're his literal hands. Captain Blackbeard. I would love to actually meet Captain Blackbeard in real life. Then again, he may not be a friendly fellow. Swing around this lovely rock outcropping and come on down to this cannon. This is one of the most devastating weapons in the base of the game. It is the bomb cannon. Man, this thing can hurt. Spooky One is home to two different secret units. If you go into the left side of the section past the pumpkins, you see these chains sticking out of the ground. This is a relatively new unit, totally accurate battle simulator. This one is the Banshee. But if you back away and move to the right, you will see a graveyard with a skull sticking out of a gravestone. This guy's awesome. He's big. He's bony. He is the skeleton giant. But on Spooky 2, there's actually two more units. If you look into the sky over top of the pumpkin tree, you see a witch's broom complete with a witch's hat. Do you think it's going to be a witch? I can guarantee you this unit is going to be the witch. A skeleton witch, but still a witch nonetheless. And over here in this archway hanging up is a terrifying looking object drawing in ghostly energies from the gravestones all around 
it's the Necromancer. On the Wild West map, there are three secret units, one of which you have to acquire in a very unique way, and I'll explain shortly. But first, we're gonna grab our first unit, which is located here inside this carriage jail cell. It's a ball and chain unit. It's literally called ball and chain. And then after that, you swing around, come to the backside and take a look at these steps. See the steps with all this junk, these boxes, get in there and take a look. Is that a cannon? No, that is no cannon. That is a Gatling gun. And now we have to unlock the interesting unit. So I'm gonna swing the line over here just to speed it up. What you have to do is you have to take out this wall right here, explode this wall. So I'll just put a bard over here. They'll have to kill eventually, but that's fine. But after that, I'm gonna take a cannon like the pirate cannon, for example, something to blow up this wall. And then I'm gonna possess with the F key, the cannon and shoot the wall. Oh, looks like I have to shoot it one more time. The wall isn't completely broken. Give it one more shot. And there you go. I can now stop possessing the cannon, go into the wall, and acquire this unit right here. It's literally a bank vault. Boom, we have acquired the bank robbers. Now to acquire the next secret units, you have to first acquire a secret map. Here on the farmer's map, if you come to the back of this house, there's an object kind of darkened sitting there on a shelf. This is a snow globe and inside the snow globe is a snowy version of this map. On Farmer's Snow, there is two secret units. The first is this icicle right here. Look at the color, it just stands out. You can't miss it. It's like, it's like a sore thumb on a beautiful snowy Christmas map. And this is the Ice Mage, and that is the first. There is a second. If you come to this building over here, there's a red Christmas gift sitting on the balcony. Just like Christmas, it's a gift to you, a brand new secret unit. This unit is the present elf. There are two more maps and two more units to unlock before we get to the legacy units. If you come here to the medieval map that is the land bridge and you go under the land bridge, you will see a door. A door that glows, a door that's gonna let you into a beautiful realm above and beyond anything you could imagine. The thing will pop open and the doors will open. Inside is a cave, a wonderful cave filled with statues. And all of a sudden, as you enter, things will start to happen. Things will start to occur. The lights blow out. Almost like liquid gold, liquid light itself pours from the fountain into the ground. A portal is formed. And as you go through the portal, you will appear in the good faction. Log out of that fight, log into the regular good map and come to this floating island over here. And as you can see there on the floating island is a set of rings. This beautiful golden ring with all the spikes. This is the secret unit for the good faction. It is the solar architect. And now we have to unlock the evil world. So we go to the dark mirrored version of the medieval map, Spooky One. And once again, you go under the land bridge and you come to the door that's busted open with a coiling darkness leading you to the depths of the world like this. This unlocks the fantasy evil map and if you want the secret unit from this faction you go to the back of the statue and there lies a disgusting weapon. All spikes, all power. This is the infernal whip. Now we are going to unlock the legacy faction unit, starting with over here on your left, this blue set of tents. There's a flag there in the middle, one that clearly does not belong. It is a secret unit. It is part of the fantasy faction, the legacy faction. It is the flag bearer. Immediately beside the flag bearer, you're going to notice something a little bit strange, a barrel. What's that barrel doing there? That doesn't belong there. That's a weird looking barrel, cause it's not a barrel. It's actually a secret unit. Beside it is the barrel roller. Try using that unit on a bunch of hobbits, it's hilarious. Now we're gonna leave our blue tents behind and go into the woods because you're gonna find a log cart right beside an old stump. And on the old stump, you're gonna see an odd hat with a pipe. Clearly an homage to Lord of the Rings. You're gonna find the wise old wizard Gandalf himself 
leave the wise old wizard behind, come towards this cathedral, and then go to the statue. You see the statue here? Take a look at the statue. Take a look at the plaque. In loving memory of Poacher, your arrows pierced all of our hearts. You unlock the poacher. Now we're gonna leave the poacher behind, swing the camera 180 degrees, and come to a gravestone with a hole in it. A fresh grave for a blow dart of some kind. This unlocks the blow darter unit. Now rise into the sky, come to the church, and enter into the top in this vacant hole. It's a little bit dark in here, and that's okay. Swing around and take a look at this Egyptian pharaoh sitting here in a coffin completely exposed, you've unlocked the pharaoh. Now it's time to leave the attic, fly into the sky, and take a look at the clock tower. There's a window bashed open. Go on in, take a look down, and you're gonna find one of the single most powerful units in the base version of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. This is the home of the super peasant. But the super peasant is but one half of the peasant duo. The second half is down below. Look at the glove. This unseeming, normal looking glove on this gravestone, unnamed peasant, darkened heart, void of soul. This is the dark peasant. Turn around from the dark peasant tomb and take a look over there at the glowing fists of power. This is so much fun. A fantastic unit to take control of. Here you have the super boxer. But look over there, you see the lightning strikes? The beautiful lightning strikes, that's another very powerful unit here in the Legacy Faction, Mjolnir itself. Thor's hammer come crashing down in Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. You've unlocked Thor. Now we leave the crater of Thor's hammer and head over to the red tents. Blue tents are over there. These are the red tents and clearly there's another flag, another banner barrier. One is meant to hold units still, one is meant to send units into battle, it is the banner bearer. And look right beside it, a chariot awaits. Jump into the chariot, my lord. I will take you on adventure. I will be your horse. <laughs> that is the chariot with the wobbly horse. And then you turn 180 degrees to what looks like a bit of a square setup with boxing gloves into it. Is this a medieval equivalent of a boxing ring? Why not? Now we've unlocked the boxer. We have two units left, and one of them I can't believe I forgot went right past it. Leaning against the church is a long pull, and that long pull is actually a pike. You can see the pike head. Oh, oh no, hold on. Gotta come back down. If you get too close to the pike head, it won't unlock. Here you go, the pike. And then you turn 180 degrees, and you look here beneath all these trees. See those great big trees? One, two, three, all this darkness. Guess what? There's a hole in the ground. And this hole in the ground brightens up into a modern everyday tank. And that is how you unlock every secret unit and every legacy unit in 2023.